Hey everyone, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a ton of eyewear for you guys to check out with me. It is from Bolan and I'm so excited to be collaborating with them on this video today. Inside this black box, are 15 of their best sellers and new pieces from their collection. If you guys are eyeglass wearers or if you guys wear specs, then you know how important it is to find eyewear that really fits your face and really fits your style, your lifestyle, your face shape. And personally, I feel like it's so hard to just stick to one eyeglass and for that specific pair of eyeglasses to match all your outfits because I have funky eyewear and sometimes when I want to look serious and I wear the funky eyewear, parang it's not bagay. Or sometimes I want something really comfortable but the design man isn't so nice so parang if I go to events, I look so tita. So it really, really depends. And I'm so happy that I have all of these eyeglasses to pick from today and I really hope that you can help me decide which ones to get by leaving a comment down below on which one is your favorite. Without any further ado, let's get straight to the try-on haul. So if you guys have never heard about Bolan, I actually posted about them on my Instagram and I made a video trying out their sunglasses and they have so many different kinds of sunglasses. They have tinted ones, they have black ones, they have aviators, they have cat eye and what drew me to their collection actually is their endorser and I know that's so bad to base a company on their endorser but I saw their lookbook and their endorser was Hailey Bieber and she looked so beautiful in all the different collections. It was shot so well and I just really saw how versatile their eyewear pieces are and I saw how solid the brand is if they can get Hailey Bieber and the previous endorser was also Anne Hathaway so it's not just a brand. Lang. Based on what I've tried so far in Bolan, I'm really happy with their quality and I'm really happy with their design. A lot of the times when I'm looking for eyeglasses, especially in optical shops, I feel like the selections are so limited. If I'm on a budget and and I want to get really fashionable frames. It's hard because in the optical shops, you know, the really nice designs are like Ray-Ban, which is higher price point, even higher like Frenzy and Mercury or Prada. There's so many brands out there, the super mahal. And glasses can range from maybe 20,000 per eyeglass to 50,000 even. Honestly, that's too much for me to spend on, especially because I like having so many different eyeglasses to choose from depending on my outfit and my mood and what I'm doing for the day. It's okay to buy more affordable eyeglasses, but I also feel like they get destroyed easier. I have so many cheaper eyeglass brands that are already destroyed. The um, thing here, what do you call this? The nose pads, they just fall off. Or the lens, the kind of lens, it gets scratched easily. The color changes, so many different things. So honestly, and this isn't because Bolan is collaborating with me on this video, I really find that this is a good compromise for my lifestyle. It's kind of in between high-end and affordable but it's also very fashionable. Yeah, I've been blabbering about this for so much. I'm gonna try it on for you guys and hopefully you guys will see what I mean. So the first one I'm gonna try out is this titanium one. I actually don't have the names with me right now, but this one is really, really, really light and it's kind of clear. So this is kind of giving me Tito vibes, but I really like it because rose gold yung dito niya, which is unique and it's not like completely transparent. Parang it's kind of tita -y. it depends, it really depends. Especially if you're wearing something more work wear. It makes you feel very professional. That's just me. But um, these ones, I think it's a nice cross because it's fashionable but also can be formal. So this is option number one. Option number two are these ones. And I rarely get ones na thick yung frame. But I like this because I don't know if you guys noticed, yung type ko talaga for eyewear is the big ones. And I feel like it's because it's more flattering or it just makes my eyes look bigger. I don't know, that's just me. But I really like it because it doesn't go over my eyebrow. It's right in between the eye and the eyebrow. And yes, that matters to me. And it goes all the way down. So what I really like to do is make this point the peak of my blush. So it kind of like makes gradient here. This, even though it has a frame around it, I kind of also really like it. It's more laid back, I would say. I mean, because it's a little bit bigger than the normal eyeglass, it kind of gives be that barista vibe ish but also a little bit more formal because it has these gold details the nose pads are in gold and it's very light all right number three is sort of like what i mentioned earlier so it's the frameless one the first one had like the rose gold frame on top but this one is completely
completely clear this is what it looks like so i guess if i really want to show my pop in makeup look then i'll go for glasses like these because there's no frame that cuts anything in your eye or adds anything extra i also feel like when i'm wearing eyeglasses sometimes i can't go extra with the makeup or i can't wear really big earrings because it's like competing for attention on your face like there's so many things going on you have earrings you have lipstick you have eye makeup you have glasses but there's so many things if i wear a hat it's just too much so if i want to pare down then i'll probably pick something that looks like this and the reason why i also like this one compared to the normal ones imagine if this was just like this little this one is big and it kind of looks fashion eyewear parin. it really looks fashionable if i say so myself next up is a cross between a number two and number three and it is these ones so there is a frame around it it's a very slim black frame so i feel like again it doesn't compete with whatever you put on your face i think it's a little bit more nerdy which i kind of also really like and this is also a little bit more squarish and smaller than the other ones but i don't know i think it's a little bit too wide for my face what do you guys think all right number five off the bat i know i'm really gonna love this one because ugh, look at this they're aviators, but the frame is in white and it's white and gold. And you know me, I love my whites and I love my golds. And I feel like this is a really funky pair. It looks so fashion and youthful and like this girl is a fun person because her eyeglasses are fun. If I'm just wearing maybe like a plain white shirt and jeans and I wear this and a red lip, like what I'm wearing today, I'm also wearing this pride collar t-shirt um, from Penguin because it is pride month, it is June. I don't know when I'm gonna get this video out but it is June and I want to support my LGBTQ friends out there. So yeah, pride month. This one would really add like a pop to your outfit okay moving on this is also something that i already have so i don't know if this design is very popular ba or i don't know because i have this from another brand like a really affordable brand and it looks kind of similar but i can feel when i compare the two of them that this one is a lot sturdier a lot lighter as well wait let me get it so you guys can see okay so it's not exactly the same. This is what I got from the cheaper brand, Brand X. And this is the one from Bolin. So this is a little bit more round and there is like a gap here between the frame and the lens. And this one is, it's all connected. And I only use this like three, four times. I love the shape. I feel like it's also very flattering, but the nose pad already fell off. So this is what I'm saying, like, it would be nice to just buy all these affordable brands, but you also really get what you pay for. And Bolin isn't super expensive, but you can tell that the quality is really also, parang, you really get what you pay for. Let's just put it at that. So this is what it looks like on me, and I feel like this shape talaga is so flattering on me. I feel like it's so perfectly complementing to my kilay. Like, it doesn't really cover my kilay, it's just like, it's just there. And I don't know, I, I'm always drawn to this shape for some reason. I feel like I'm wearing goggles, but not. I don't know, but yeah, this one is also really, really nice. I feel like when I go out at night and I wear this, parang it's cute parin. It's not too like nerdy, it's not too work, it's not too fashion, it's kind of more subtle. And I really, really, really love the shape. We are already at number seven, so we're almost halfway there. And this is a more classic shape, I would say. And it makes me look a little bit more teacher. So this isn't a shape that I normally go for. I think I prefer the really big ones, but I also kind of like this look. I guess it really depends on your style. And this one is, um, it's not very me, but I would say it's really nice as well. It's squarish and it's a little bit too big for me here. But again, you know, you can also make it fashion and wear this. I'm sure if Hailey Bieber wears this, it's like super bagay sa kanya. So, nasa confidence lang yan, my friends. Nasa confidence lang yan. Number eight, we have something similar. It's kind of like the other one, except it's in a tortoise shell and it's a little bit bigger. And already, I will say that I like this more than the number seven one. And it's only because this one is a little bit bigger. You know, going through this haul, I feel I realize that I really tend to go for the bigger ones. Now I wear, I feel like it's just a lot more flattering. What about you? I feel like if it's so small, it makes it look like those reading glasses that you buy like in the bookstores or like grocery stores or pharmacies. Walang style style, you know what I mean? And this one is just, I don't know, it's so flattering. I feel like they really 
designed these pieces with a younger person in mind or someone that is more fashionable in mind. And so the collection off the bat, and dami mo nang mapipili. It's hard to choose because and dami maganda. All right, next up are also aviators, but this time it is in the color black. So just your simple, no nonsense aviators. For some reason, when I wear my aviator, I wear pieces, whether it be eyeglasses or sunglasses, I always think of helicopters and planes and stuff like that. And I think I saw Kendall Jenner wear black aviator eyeglasses once, one of her posts, and she was traveling. And ever since then, I kind of like made the connection that black aviators are cute on the plane. And so I feel like this one would be cute with maybe a black turtleneck and jeans and uh, you know, your hair up in a high bun. It's super fashion. I really love it too. My number 10 is the same as my number four. And the number four is, it comes in this like purple frame. I said it was black a while ago, but now looking closer, it's kind of like purple. And this one is the same one, except it is in the rose gold color. So it is a little bit smaller and it is a little bit more serious, I would say. So I guess it really, again, depends on your face shape. Moving on, this is number 11 already. And this is super duper light. And I think comfort wise, among all of the things that I've tried here, this is the most comfortable. Also because it doesn't have nose pads. The nose pad is kind of built in here. And I've learned through the years that that makes it a lot more comfortable. It's also very light and it also comes in this aviator form. So I think I will be choosing this one over these ones because of the comfort factor. Next up, we have something a little bit similar but without the two lines over here. So again, the number 11 aviators had two lines on top and this one just has one. So if you guys wanna avoid the unibrow situation, then I suggest getting this one. I also kinda really like this one, to be honest. I think all of the sunnies, Mula akong hate. Like everything's cute. I don't know, it's a little bit different. There's a little bit of a modern take to it. So it's not like your typical uncle's aviator or Lola's aviator. Parang modern pa siya. And it's a little bit more square than the other one, I would say. But I think this one makes my nose look a little bit big. So I will skip this one for now. Okay, number 13, we have this. So it's kind of like the ones that I said are really flattering for the face, but they have a sort of subtle cat eye situation going on here. And I kind of also really like this one. It's a little bit girlier because of the cat eye. I feel like this looks amazing with a winged eyeliner. You just look more tarai if you have glasses that look like this. But what I really like about this is that the frame, the black color, is so slim. So it looks really effortless, fashion. I, I'm not trying too hard, but I look cool. Good on. I really like it too. Moving on to a more strong cat eye, we have this. And I don't know if I like this cat eye or not. It's not a new design. I mean, cat eye is kind of, you know, it's a classic. But I don't know if I can pull it off. What do you guys think? I can't imagine myself ever owning a pair of like thick framed eyeglasses. And I think it's because I've never tried it before. But what do you guys think? Do you like it or do you not like it? And last but not least, we have this. Now, I guess out of everything that we've tried so far, this is the one that I probably would not reach out for because this one kind of creates like a unibrow situation. Not so much compared to like if it was like that, right? But I kind of avoid thicker frames here on top and then nothing in the bottom because of that purpose. I feel like it gives you, it makes your eyebrows look really, really thick. And I think it's because it really competes with the makeup that you have on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned a thing or two about eyewear. I would highly recommend going to optical shops to try it out yourself so you know exactly what fits your face shape. And I know it's intimidating because when you go into all these optical shops, there's so many different options and sometimes it's just intimidating and you don't know where to start, but you really have to try out all the pieces to see what's bagay sayo and to see what's comfortable in your face and with your lifestyle. And I highly recommend asking your peers or posting about it on Instagram and then just going back to buy whatever it is that your friends and you have decided together to get. Because the opinion of others also matters when it comes to fashionable pieces like this. If you're choosing from so many, it can get overwhelming. So your friend or your sister or anyone who can help you out is always welcome. That is why I need you guys to help me out. If you can please pick the four pieces that you think 
fit my face the best then please do let me know in the comments down below i will really 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 appreciate it again i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did then please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up a comment down below subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.